Hello and welcome to this particular session. As you know, in my last video, I explained what exactly is SAP, and then I have explained what exactly is SAP S4 HANA, how SAP S4 HANA is different than SAP ECC. And here I am with the next video on what are the different type of projects in SAP. So those of you who don't know me, my name is Vikram and I have around 15 years of ERP consulting experience. If you are not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please subscribe because I keep on coming up with the new new videos on different topics in SAP S4 HANA. Even I started uh, coming on YouTube live from last two weeks. So every Sunday, normally I come live on YouTube and explain different concepts of SAP S4 HANA. So let's start with the topic today. Uh, we are going to discuss about what are the different type of projects that we work on SAP. So just a quick high level overview. These are some of the projects that we normally work on in SAP. Uh, number one is the Greenfield implementation project. This is also called as end to end implementation project. We will discuss in detail what exactly is Greenfield implementation project and how it is different than the other type of projects. The second kind of project is called as support project, which is also called as AMS, which is application maintenance and support. Then we have rollout project. Okay, we will discuss what is rollout project and when companies go for the rollout project. Then we have upgradation project, conversion project and development project. So normally, most of the time you will find yourself in these three projects, but these projects like upgradation, conversion, development are also uh, very commonly used in SAP. So let's start with the implementation project, which is also called as Greenfield, as I told you. So what we need to do now is in order to understand this better, uh, I will just try to explain with the examples. Okay, so if you know the status of the company, if you know where exactly the client is today, based on that, the client will decide whether to go for the Greenfield implementation or they will, they are currently in the support project or they are currently uh, doing a rollout project. So consider an example where XYZ Chemicals, it is nothing but a chemical manufacturing company and it has two legal entities. Okay, two legal entities means they are registered as either public limited or private limited. So there are two registered entities. And they have four different plants, four different manufacturing plants. Now, this can be in uh, Mumbai, this can be in Pune, this can be Bangalore. So there are four total manufacturing plants. Now, assume that this company is currently using the local softwares. So in order to manage their day-to-day -day operations, they are using a separate software for procurement. Procurement is nothing but purchasing. Uh, they are using a separate software for sales, HR, and even for finance, they are using some small software as of today now till now it was okay because this company was a smaller company but now day by day they are growing they are growing maybe uh, uh, at the good percentage and that is the reason they are not able to perform their day-to-day -day tasks they are not able to perform or generate their reportings on time and that is the reason they have decided that they would need a ERP product which will help them to do all the different things within the same software so that they don't need to use different different softwares for different uh, departments. They want a single software which can help them in doing all the different things at one place. And obviously when it comes to ERP, the most uh, popular ERP product which is available in the market is obviously SAP. And that is the reason this company XYZ Chemicals have decided that they will implement SAP Okay, and since they are implementing SAP for the first time, because they were not using SAP till now. Now, if they want to work on this project, this kind of project where XYZ will implement SAP or SAP S4 HANA for the first time, these kind of projects are called as Greenfield Implementation Projects. Okay, so any company in short, what is a Greenfield Implementation Project? Any company who was not using SAP till now, now they have decided that they want to go with SAP. The first thing that they need to do is they need to start with the SAP implementation project. Okay, there is one small, uh, maybe you can say exception here. So in the definition, I told that a company who is not using SAP till now. Now there are some scenarios where a company is already using SAP, 
maybe they are using the old version of SAP today and now they want to implement the latest version of SAP even in that case if they want to start from scratch if they don't want to convert their existing system they want to start everything from scratch even in that case also this will be treated as a new implementation project it will be treated as a greenfield implementation project okay so normally when you apply for the jobs you uh, get the requirement that companies are looking for at least one end-to-end -end implementation project so that end-to-end -end implementation project is nothing but the greenfield implementation project okay so i hope you understood what is greenfield implementation now let's go to the second kind of project which is called as support project now the same company xyz limited let's assume they have already implemented sap let's assume it took one years or 12 months of time to implement SAP for this customer. Now since SAP is implemented in XYZ Limited, on day to day basis there are new users who are going to do the transactions. Right? So till now purchasing department was using different software, sales department was using different software, finance was using different software. Now onwards once the SAP is already implemented, all the departments will be using the common software which is SAP. So during the initial days, they will definitely face some issues. They need proper training. They need, they will uh, require a lot of clarifications when they want to perform the transactions in the system. And that is exactly where they need the experts available with them so that if they are getting stuck somewhere or if they are facing any errors, they want a support team who can help them in doing their day to day transactions. So understand this thing, this is different than the implementation. In the implementation, 12 months of time, the implementation team was just trying to implement SAP for them, but only after the implementation, the business users will start doing the transactions in SAP. So support project will start as soon as the end users, the procurement users, the sales, the finance uh, department users they will start using SAP and they will come up with a lot of errors lot of questions for which they need the support from the SAP consultants right so this is called as a support project now let's go to the third one okay one more thing to add here normally when we say support project it is not necessary that the company will hire the external consultants for support project there are many companies who have their own internal SAP team so it is not necessary that if I become a consultant, I have to work with the IT companies. I can also work with the manufacturing companies, chemical companies as part of their SAP department. So there are many companies who have their internal SAP team who takes care of their current support project as well as the other projects that we are going to discuss. Let's come to the third kind of project which is called as a rollout project. Now again, if I talk about the same company XYZ Limited, so if you remember when we said implementation, we said this company have two legal entities and four manufacturing plants. Now let's assume after one or two years, if this company wants to or if this company has started their operations in different plants. So earlier there were only four plants. Now maybe they have uh, started the operations in the fifth plant or the sixth plant or maybe they have registered a third legal entity. So in this particular case, when the existing customer, existing customer who is already using SAP, currently they have two legal entities, four plants, but now they want to start the third legal entity or the next plant in this kind of projects where we are just adding the legal entities or adding the plants in the existing SAP system. This is called as SAP rollout project. So normally when we say we are working on the rollout project, it doesn't mean that we are working on the new implementation. Rather, it means that we are implementing a new legal entity or a new plant in already implemented SAP system. Okay, so I hope you understood what is the rollout project. Let's go to the next one. The next one is the upgradation project. Upgradation means, you know, in SAP, there are different versions. Okay, SAP is keeping on improving itself they are keeping on coming up with the new features with every version so if i talk from sap s4 hana point of view itself you know sap comes up with a new version on sap s4 hana so they started with 1610 or even before 1610 it was 1511 
So 15, 11, 16, 10, 17, 09, 2020, 2021 and this year even they will come up with the version 2022. So what is happening is every year SAP is coming up with the new versions. Now the company if I talk from the XYZ limited itself because when XYZ has implemented SAP let's assume they implemented 1809 three years back. Now because in 2021 there are some features available which are not available in 1809 and this manufacturing company this chemical company is really interested in bringing those new features. If they want to use those new features what they need to do is they just need to upgrade from their existing version to the new version. It is very straightforward upgradation I think everybody knows because we are all using the mobiles and every in few every few months we get a new upgradation of the software in our mobile if I if you are using Apple or we are using Android so we keep on getting the software updates it is exactly same so when it comes to the upgradation project it means that you are already using one version of SAP and now you want to upgrade to the latest version of SAP the next one is the conversion project now this is very specific conversion project means it is only applicable for those customers who are already running SAP ECC which is an old product from SAP nowadays all the companies who are implementing SAP they are implementing SAP S4 HANA so this SAP S4 HANA was launched in 2015 before 2015 all the customers who have implemented SAP they have implemented the older versions and one of the product was SAP ECC so there are many customers today who are still running SAP ECC and they are happy with their SAP ECC system but at the same time they are also looking to bring on the new features what are offered by SAP S4 HANA so these companies they don't want to lose whatever they have in ECC but at the same time they want to use what is available in S4 in this case they will not start from scratch because they already have a lot of things in SAP ECC they want to keep it as it is and they want to improvise with the SAP S4 HANA functionalities. So for those companies who are already using SAP ECC and they want to upgrade to S4 HANA, this kind of projects are called as conversion projects. So what is the difference between upgradation project and conversion project? In upgradation project, we are not moving from ECC. We are within SAP S4 HANA, there are different versions. Okay, we are going from 1610 to 1709, 1709 to 2020. This is called as the upgradation project. While in the conversion, we are completely moving from one product to the new product. So SAP ECC is one product and SAP S4 HANA is a new product from SAP. So it is not a version upgrade, it is a product upgrade altogether. Okay, also in the upgradation, just remember it is not only S4 HANA. Even in ECC, there were different versions. So you might have heard about SAP, ECC, uh, EHP1, EHP2, EHP3. So if you are using EHP3 and if you want to upgrade to EHP7 or EHP8, that also is called as an upgradation project. So the difference between upgradation and conversion is within the same product you are moving, it is upgradation project. If you are moving from the old product that is ECC to SAP S4 HANA, it is called as a conversion project. Okay, so this is only applicable for those companies who are already using ECC and they are now converting their SAP ECC system to SAP S4 HANA system. Again, if this company decides to start from scratch, they don't want to uh, convert their existing system. Rather, they want to build a completely new system on S4 HANA. In that case, if they are starting from scratch, if they are creating a completely new system, it will fall under the category of greenfield implementation project okay so this small small things we need to be very clear in order to segregate whether it is a conversion project or a new implementation project okay and the last one is a development project now development projects are very common when you look at the different companies who are already using sap they keep on developing new functionalities in their existing sap system Okay, because of it may be because of the business reason or it may be because of the regulatory uh, reason. For example, the companies who were already using SAP from last many years, they were using VAT and service tax related things in uh, for India. But due to the regulatory change, GST became uh, mandatory. 
and that is the reason they need to do some developments in order to bring those GST related features in their existing ECC or S4 HANA system. So this is just one example. There are development projects whenever you want to develop, whenever you want to add the new features which are not available in your current SAP system and if you are involving uh, your technical team, your ABAP team to develop those new features, that kind of projects are normally called as development projects. So these are most of the projects that we normally work on in SAP S4 HANA or SAP ECC also. Apart from this, maybe some of the things which I may not have covered, you can comment me and I can always keep on helping you in answering those questions like what exactly those projects are. Now, I already started going below this. I already had a YouTube live last week, last uh, Sunday on what is the role of SAP functional consultant on the Greenfield implementation project. Okay, I'm also planning to uh, schedule one YouTube live on what exactly is the role of SAP functional consultant in the support project. So if you are not subscribed to my channel till now, please subscribe so that you can keep on getting the notifications whenever I'm coming YouTube live and that will definitely help you in understanding uh, what is our role which will give you a lot of confidence when you are facing the interviews. So I hope you enjoyed this particular video. Uh, keep on watching these videos and uh, make sure that you are always up to date with the latest trend in SAP. Thank you. Bye.